Hello everyone, this is Manya Rasul. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Bell Technologies. Today we are here with Steen from Scalers AI to dive into an interesting discussion in the world of AI, a choice between cloud deployment and on-prem computing. The decision to deploy workloads on-prem or in cloud is often a contest shaped by four major factors, economics, latency, regulatory requirements, and fault tolerance. In today's conversation, we will not only discuss these principles in theory, Instead, we will dive deeper into the testing and comparison of leading AI models across voice, computer vision, and large language models, both on-prem and in the cloud. Over the past few months, we have been working with Scalers AI uh, together to test on some of these AI models on our Dell PowerEdge service. So, Steve, can you tell us a little bit more about your findings based on these tests? Yeah, absolutely, Manya. And first, I mean, you know, thanks. We, we've had a blast getting access to some of this this cutting edge hardware. And um, you know, Scalers AI is an enterprise AI company focused on fast tracking industry transformation. And I think one of the things that that when we talk to enterprises today, they're wondering, you know, not not only you know, can I deploy on premise for security, privacy, TCO value as well, but they're also asking, can I use some of my existing infrastructure um, like their existing CPU hardware, or do they need to go up for purpose-built AI accelerators and GPUs? And um, what's what's really excellent about um, this work we collaborated with you on is we, as you said, took those leading um, voice, language, and vision models, and we put them to the test, both on-prem and at the edge. And um, you know, we saw um, some really really compelling results uh, mm -hmm. on that front. Um, and again, we ran it just on CPU. And so one of the things that we did there is um, we were able to, to leverage some of the techniques around uh, Intel's OpenVINO technology for enhanced AI performance, um, as well as we also leveraged uh, core pinning technique just to get that, that last mile performance out of, out of those systems as well. And so, yeah. Yeah, you said it right. And this was done on Dell PowerEdge R760, which is powered by Intel's 4 Gen Xeon scalable processors. And it's optimized with the open you know, tool there. So yeah, that's just amazing performance results that you're getting on Intel CPU. Yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about the, the results. So what we actually what we actually found is that the, the on-premise implementation that we used outperformed the leading cloud in instances for comparable processors. Um, and we saw that across the voice model that we used, which was the OpenAI Whisper-based model. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we were able to run you know, tens and tens of concurrent processes of voice um, on both systems. You know, great performance, but the on-prem solution outperformed that. The second uh, model that we did is we ran YOLO V8, mm -hmm. so one of the leading, if not the leading, vision models. And again, we saw the image per second performance on the on-prem on machine outperform uh, the cloud-based instance. And then uh, the third model we run is kind of one of the most famous models in the market today, the Llama 2 base mm -hmm. model. And I know Dell just had a big announcement with Meta. Uh, congratulations, by the way. Um, that model, um, like maybe maybe shocking a few of the, the viewers here, we were able to get it up and running uh, with multiple you know, processes of that model running on, on the Xeon-based uh, Fortune CPU with OpenVINO, uh, both in the cl uh, cloud instance um, and the on-premise instance. And we we actually exceed performance on the on-prem as well. So, you know, really the leading models in their specific domains, they all outperformed um, on-prem as well. That's just amazing itself to know that how we can compare between cloud and on-prem so customers have a clear picture yeah. based on the testing that we have done. And just like slightly changing gears from performance, what do you think, like, where do you see a real life use case scenario for these three voice, vision, and Llama model, where, where can we use this in real life? Yeah, so, um, you know, through this uh, work that we're able to, to collaborate on, we actually built a, a small uh, demonstration of, you know, a use case where you'd want to integrate those three modalities. And uh, the use case we, we selected was a, a pharmacy drive through use case. And in this scenario, um, security is a major factor. The latency, because you've got real human um, interaction, um, is a real factor as well. And uh, so what we did here is we actually use the computer vision model to detect a car as it arrives. And then we use the language-based model to you know, communicate with the voice-based model to ask things like help your date of birth so they can get your contact information and re-up your prescription as well. And so 
that use case, you know, the seamless kind of integration of voice capability, language capability, and vision capability can be used, you know, in, in things like, a, you know, modern, you know, drive through pharmacy use case. Um, and that scales really well to like the quick serve retail market as well, which has seen a lot of adoption on making sure that they can serve their customers faster as well. And I think to that point, it's not just like this is an excellent use case, but like this kind of technology, I think it's game changing for the retail industry. It can be deployed in so many other use case scenarios for the drive to pickup solution. Yeah. And with our 760XA, like it provides robust performance. We have seen that. And it offers like multi factor authentication. So it kind of ticks off all the security concerns that people might have. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the cloud provides a, a great hyper elastic platform and is great for a lot of use cases. Um, but what we found with the 760XA was we had a lot more choice mm -hmm. in you know the processor archetype and the memory footprint that we want that allowed us to kind of tailor things to the use case. Plus, you know, the on-prem deployment just adds that extra layer of uh, security and privacy, which is important for a lot of use cases. The other factor that we haven't talked about is you have to talk about uh, the affordability of the implementation as well. And I think um, you know when when you're kind of using the compute for a, a small period of time, um, you know, the cloud offers that kind of that affordability gap, but what we found with this is if you just look at kind of the, the public uh, Dell.com list pricing, your payback period was about 13 months um, mm -hmm. to move to that on-prem uh, solution as well. And uh, that's just the, the Dell public pricing. And there's, yeah. there's a lot of other market-based pricing um, as well. So, you know, really nice 13-month payback period um, where if you're going to deploy at the edge or on-premise, you've got a nice value there. That's, and that's good to know, like, you know, the overall how much savings a customer can get compared to on-prem and cloud. And that has been a debate for a long time. So I think this will definitely help answer some of those questions. Thank you so much, team, for joining us today. It was a great discussion and very interesting insights that we were able to get from you. And to all our audience, we invite you to explore more about Dell's edge computing solutions on our website and on how they can transform your AI deployments. Thank you so much for watching. And thanks, Mani, again, for the, the opportunity to work with you. I, I think we learned a lot in this exercise that, you know, CPUs, specifically Fortune and Xeon with OpenVINO, are up to the test of running large language models, the leading voice and vision models. And there's some great use cases to do just that.